If you have been playing Subnautica for a while, you may be looking for new things to try in the game. Maybe you're getting into Subnautica Below Zero and do not like a certain game mechanic and want to change it. You may be thinking to yourself, I wonder if there are any mods for these games. If you are playing either of these on PC, then you are in luck as there is an active community of modders adding new elements to these games all the time. So in this video, I am going to show you just how quick and easy it is to mod the Subnautica games on PC. But first, let me stress again, this guide is for modding Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero on the PC. At the time of making this video, there are no options for adding mods on the console versions. So to mod Subnautica on PC, first open up your browser of choice and head to nexusmods.com forward slash Subnautica or nexusmods.com forward slash Subnautica Below Zero depending on which game you wish to mod. Next, you want to go ahead and register for an account so you can download the mod files. This doesn't cost anything, but they do offer a premium account option if you want to help support them in that manner. Now that you have an account, you want to use the search bar at the top of the page to search for QMod Manager and get the newest version. You will see along the lower right of the banner image an option for a manual download. So go ahead and get QMod Manager downloaded. Next, you want to open up your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the file to. QMod Manager is just a normal executable that works like any other software installer. So give it a lovely double click. If you get any UAC or smart screen prompts from Windows about it, it is safe. So go ahead and let it run. Now you should be at the first installer screen. Click next. And now you need to tell the installer where the game install path is. If you have installed the game like any other, you should be fine with just selecting which game you want from the options at the bottom. Click next again, and now you'll see a confirmation that you are installing for whichever of the Subnautica games you chose and how much disk space it will need. If everything looks good, then click next and then click install. It should only take a moment to complete the installation and then you can click finish. After this, go to your game folder in your Steam Apps Common folder. Inside, you will find a new folder named QMods, which is where you will install all future mods. I suggest making another folder here named Inactive Mods, Unused Mods, or something to that effect so you have a place to store any mod files you are not currently using. Now go back to the Nexus Mods site and download the SML Helper mod. This isn't necessary for all mods, but there are many that require this one for their full functionality, so why not install it first? Once you have downloaded the zip file for this mod, you simply need to open it up with an unzipping program. I prefer 7-zip, but it's really just personal choice. Once you have the zip file open, just copy the folder named for the mod to your QMods folder. Do not copy the contents of the folder, but copy the entire folder. Now just close everything else out and the mod is installed ready for use. I have a lot of mods currently installed in my game, so here I am just updating mine. For most mods, you can update just by replacing any files with the newer versions. But there are some mods where you may need to replace the corresponding folder completely due to a cache file or some other element of the mod. So that's it. That's all it takes to get your Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero modded when playing the PC versions. To make this easier, I have included links for the pages down below in the description as well as a few suggested mods to get you started. Also feel free to check out any of my modded Subnautica series for some ideas on how these mods work or some interesting mods you may want to use in your own game. Again, as of the time this video is being made, there are not any mod options for console. Maybe that will change in the future, but for now you're just out of luck. For you PC players though, Go ahead and download some more mods already. 